inspection for the 2011 Loveland Norams. First forerunner on course. One more time, welcome to the Noram Cup. And our first forerunner is on course. Tears who are helping us out today to make this race possible. Here comes our first forerunner. This is our second forerunner, approaching the finish. Check in with the finish ref. Uh, we would appreciate that, please. Thank you. Kevin, can you just put your, can you hear me? Thanks, Kevin. And this is the final forerunner four approaching the finish. I apologize. We're going to have uh, five forerunners today. This is number four. Colby Granstam, bib number one, on his way. And looks like he's out. Racer number one, Colby Granstrom, did not finish. Racer number one did not finish. From Canada, Brad Spence, racer number two. With the finish time of 52.01 for bib number two, Brad Spence. Racer number three is on course from Canada, Trevor White. Time on racer number two. That was our first racer to cross the finish, Brad Spence. A time of 52.01. 52.01. Approaching the finish is racer number three, Trevor White, from Canada. Racer number three crosses the finish with a time of 5.2.37. Wearing bib number four, David Donaldson, also from Canada. And in the start, Jonathan Norbotten, wearing bib number five.
Donaldson from Canada with a time of 53.49. On course, wearing bib number five from Norway, Jonathan Norbotten. number five, Jonathan Norbotten from Norway, time of 57.33. Brenna wearing bib number six with a time of 53.25. Uh, <laughs> Approaching yeah, the finish is Marcel Hersher wearing bib number seven. Marcel Hersher from Austria. Fastest time of the morning so far, Marcel Hersher, wearing bib number seven, a time of 5.1.69. Five or eight from the United States. Hi, Spada. Crossing the finish, bib number eight, Nick Daniels, with a time of 54.00. Approaching the finish, this is racer number nine, Tomas Blondin. Racer number nine with a time of 53.36. Paul Stutz from Canada, who will be followed by Charles Christensen from the United States. Charles Christensen wearing bib number 11. At the top of the hill right now, you're watching Paul Stutz. Just coming over that top pitch is Charles Christensen, wearing bib number 11. Number 11, 53.62, 53 53.62. Steve Messelier from France, wearing bib number 12.
Card number 13, Michael Ankeny from the United States. with a time of 53.14. 53.14. Will Gregorak, bib number 14, a time of 52.71, 52.71. Trevor Philp from Canada with a time of 53.62. This is Brendan Ruby, U.S. Crossing the finish was bib number 16, Brennan Ruby, with a time of 54.43. Jean-Baptiste Grange, Grange, wearing bib number 17. And in the gate, we have Mario Mott. Jean-Baptiste Grange, wearing bib number 17, 52.44, 52.44. This is Mario Mott. Willie's around. Mario Mott wearing bib number 18 from Austria with a time of 52.59. 52.59. For Mario Mott. On course, Reinfred Herbst wearing bib number 19, also from Austria. In the gate, Michael Yannick from Canada. Bib number 19. Ryan Fred Herbst from Austria with a time of 53.03. 53.03.
Michael Yannick from Canada, wearing bib number 20, 52.38. 52.38. Temporarily, maybe not, in fifth place. Julian Cousineau, number 21, also from Canada, is on course, as is Naoki Yuasa from Japan, wearing bib number 22. Julian Cousineau from Canada, bib number 21, 53.06, 53.06. Naoki Yuasa, bib number 22, a time of Bib number 23, Rito Schmidiger, 53.48, 53.48 for bib number 23. Approaching the finish is Jimmy Cochran wearing bib number 24. Cochran, 53.40, 53.40. Right now our leaderboard stands our top five. Marcel Hirschner, Brad Spence, Steve Massillier, Trevor White, and Michael Yannick. From fifth place to first place, we have less than a half a second spread. So a close race here. Um, just a little over a half a second spread between first and fifth place. You're watching Will Brandenburg from the United States, bit number 26. Will into third place. Fantastic run with a time of 5.2.26.